Few cities in the world can boast of a more stunning landscape than New York City, home to some of the most beautiful buildings in the world. As the finest examples of its rich architectural heritage, check out these 10 most beautiful buildings in New York City. Number 10. The Chrysler Building The inauguration of the Chrysler Building in 1930 set off a huge debate. Some called it inane, some said it was unoriginal, but many hailed it as an iconic and modern structure that would go on to become a landmark of New York, and indeed it has. Designed by William Van Allen, the 1,046-foot building is the tallest brick building in the world with a steel framework, and held the title of the world's tallest building till 40 Wall Street and the Empire State Building took over. One of the best examples of the Art Deco architectural style, fairly new at the time, it is ranked ninth on the list of America's favorite architecture by the American Institute of Architects. In 1976, it was designated as a New York City landmark by the National Register of Historic Places. The Chrysler Building's architectural style borrows its influences from the French Art Deco of the 1920s. The upper five floors of the structure resemble a Gothic cathedral, with the exterior adorned with 50 metal gargoyle-looking ornaments. The 31st floor contains replicas of 1929 Chrysler radiator caps, and the 61st floor has a beautiful eagle. The crowning glory of the Chrysler Building is its terraced crown, with a layered wedding cake look ending in the tall illuminated spire. Number 9. One World Trade Center One World Trade Center is a beautiful monument built in memory of the victims of the 9-11 attacks and is currently the tallest building in the United States and all of the Western Hemisphere. Rebuilt as the main building of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, the WTC stands magnificent like a shining superstructure towering 1,776 feet above the New York City skyline. One World Trade Center was designed by architect David Childs, who also designed the Burj Khalifa and Willis Tower. Incidentally, the height of the WTC is highly significant and relates to the year when the USA signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. One World Trade Center has been designed to be the safest building in the USA, built with high-strength concrete that can withstand seven times more pressure than standard concrete. It has even been reinforced by steel bars longer than what is needed to construct a skyscraper. Known also as the Freedom Tower, the structure is unique in design and looks like a combination of eight tall isosceles triangles built from glass instead of concrete because of the reflective effect of its shining exterior. The most standout feature of One World Trade Center is the observation area located from floor 100 to 102. One can get immaculate views of the skyline and the entire city. Number 8. Trinity Church If you like seeing Gothic architecture, then the Trinity Church in downtown Manhattan will not disappoint you. This spectacular Gothic revival structure, built in 1846, is 281 feet tall, and believe it or not, was New York's tallest building at the time. Surprisingly, the church withstood the attacks on September 11, 2001, standing strong and defiant even as modern buildings all around it crumbled into powder. It goes to show the difference in architecture then and now. The Trinity Church was rebuilt no less than three times. The first was destroyed in a fire in 1776. The second was torn down in 1839 due to environmental damage, and the third, built in 1846, is the one still standing today. Designed by architect Richard Upton, it is one of the best examples of extravagant Gothic architecture with several bronze doors, 23 huge bells, the largest of which weighs 1,223 kilograms, and sculptures adorning its facade and exterior. Trinity Church was declared a historic landmark in 1976. Number 7. The New York Public Library the flagship building of the New York Public Library System. The most interesting feature of this imposing building is the famous pair of stone lions at its entrance, one of which is named Patience, while the other is named Fortitude. The lions were named by the then mayor of New York in 1930 because he thought those qualities were needed to get New Yorkers through the Great Depression. Located on Fifth Avenue and 42nd Street, the main building was constructed by architectural firm Carrier and Hastings in a beau art style, a trending type of architecture at the time. Spread over 375,000 square feet, the New York Public Library was also the largest marble structure in the country at the time, constructed at a cost of $9 million. Interesting to note is the contents of the library, which beside its 2.5 million books, contains locks of hair from the heads of Charlotte Bronte, Walt Whitman, Mary and Percy Bysshe Shelley, and Wild Bill Hickok, among others. Number 6. 1. Vanderbilt. 1,401 feet, 58 stories. Towering over the Empire State Building at 1,402 feet, like an ornament of the New York skyline, is the posh One Vanderbilt, a super skyscraper built by New York's largest architect firm, Cone Peterson Fox, at a staggering cost of $3.4 billion. Located in Midtown, 
One Vanderbilt is one of the most unique buildings in New York because of its fluted terracotta surface and canted glass panels. The tower is also regarded as one of the most eco-friendly structures in New York, with a low carbon footprint because of materials used in construction. All of 67 floors, it was opened in September 2020 and features one of the most beautiful observation areas in New York City. The observation deck on one Vanderbilt is located 1,000 feet high and takes up the 57th, 58th, and 59th floors. A major attraction is the 71,938-square-foot step-out deck and glass floor ledges from which one commands a panoramic and stunning view of the skyline and the city. Number 5. Woolworth Building, Tribeca When the Woolworth Building was built in 1913, it was considered the tallest building in the world at just 792 feet. The 60-story building above Broadway between Park Place and Barclay Street in downtown Manhattan is obviously dwarfed by the modern-day super skyscrapers adorning New York, but few can match the beauty and stunning features of Woolworths. Commissioned by five-and-dime millionaire Frank W. Woolworth and built by architect Gas Gilbert in the neo-Gothic style, the building looked like a Gothic cathedral. It was highly acclaimed as a pioneering effort in construction due to the use of its steel frame and stunning interiors and exteriors. Designed as a landmark building in 1983, Woolworths has remained a favorite with New Yorkers for years. Its most beautiful feature is its immaculate lobby known as the Arcade, and has often been described as looking like the interior of a cathedral. It was regarded as one of the most beautiful lobbies in 20th century New York, consisting of two two-story high passageways with barrel vaulted ceilings. While the building cost $13.5 million to construct, it was sold by Woolworths to the Whitcoff Group for $155 million in 1998. Number 4. Flatiron Building Located on 5th Avenue between 22nd and 23rd Street is New York's most captivating edifice, the Flatiron Building, which many movie fans will recognize as the office of the fictional Daily Bugle in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Designed by architect Daniel Burnham and built in 1902, the peculiar triangular-shaped building defied architectural practices, and many thought it would be just a few months till it toppled over. Now almost 120 years later, it's still standing strong. The 22-story, 307-foot Beaux Art building, shaped as a triangular monolith, represented the threat and thrill of modern architecture. When American photographer Alfred Stieglitz took his iconic shot of the building in 1903, he described it as a picture of a new America still in the making. Unfortunately, the building is not a tourist-friendly landmark today, but you can view the black and white photos and read a few panels on the history of the tower in its lobby. The Flatiron was never among the tallest buildings in the city but it was certainly a favorite among photographers and artists alike as a memorable symbol of New York. Number 3. Zaha Hadid, 520 West 28th Street Looking more like a huge UFO rather than a building, the stunning Zaha Hadid building is a futuristic Chelsea condominium and showpiece of late architect Zaha Hadid. The spectacular structure overlooking the High Line is her only work in New York City and was her final project before her death in 2016. Showcasing her signature style of a blend of Art Deco and Jetson-esque style, the building was a beautiful addition to the Starkitect's Row, an area famous for its group of residences for the elite, created by the most famous names in contemporary architecture, like Frank Gehry, Jean Novel, and Shigeru Bang. But despite the big names, Zaha Hadid's creation is a standout among all others. The most prominent feature of 520 West 28th Street is the handcrafted steel facade perfected with attention to detail and brushed and tinted by hand to blend in with the adjacent posh buildings of the High Line neighborhood. The 11-story building contains 39 residences and some fascinating amenities, like a 25-yard sky-lit lap pool, sculpture garden, wellness spa, and an IMAX theater. Number 2. Bryant Park Hotel, the American Radiator Building, Midtown South. Today we know it as the Bryant Park Hotel, but this amazing 26-story building, famous for its gold brick layers on its upper exteriors, was built in 1924 as the American Radiator Building. Listed as a National Heritage Building, its most prominent feature is its construction, with the building being made from black brick to symbolize coal, with its upper stories crowned with gold brick to symbolize fire. The building features a blend of Gothic and modern architecture and was designed by architects John Howells and Raymond Hood. The entry of the structure is no less imposing, decorated with marble and black mirrored ornamentation designed by sculptor René Paul Chambelan. In 1988, the building passed into the hands of Philip Pilevsky, who purchased it for $150 million, and three years later it was converted into the Bryant Hotel. Number 1. New York City Hall At number 1, the New York City Hall can easily be mistaken for a colonial or French Renaissance palace. 
It may be the office of the mayor, but that's hardly what it's known for. City Hall is one of the grandest buildings in New York City, and a marvel of French and Georgian Renaissance revival elegance, built between 1803 and 1812. There is no building quite like City Hall, and the architectural grandeur of the structure hits you the moment you approach it. In fact, this is the oldest city hall in the United States, with a fully functioning government department of the New York City Council consisting of 13 municipal agencies. It is also one of the largest government buildings in the world. A registered iconic landmark of New York, it was built by architects Joseph Francois Mangin and Jean Macomb Jr. The building has seen a history as rich as its architecture, where it was also the scene of the famous Policeman's Riot of 1857. It also contains several important artifacts, valuable paintings, and even the desk of George Washington himself. If you are impressed by the grandeur of these buildings, why not look at the next video, which is even more amazing? Before you go, stop for a second and click on the notification and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content.